Hey guys, I figured I would just get started and share with you the little bit of stuff that I found at the yard sales this weekend. There weren't a ton of yard sales for some reason. Um, we did have a storm that came in and was pretty nasty, so that probably played a big part in it. But I figured the stuff I did find I felt was some pretty good finds. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. The first thing here is just a snowman. Um, he's a little bit shiny, but at Christmas time I do decorate quite a bit with the snowman and continue on into the winter. So yeah, I got him and thought he was cute. Has that little cardinal. And um, it's hollow, like it was on something. I don't know, but I have better plans for him. So I got that. I also was really surprised to find, um, I know you can still get these things. Um, this is a very current piece and I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and um, I was just really surprised. Of course the I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. Um, I have a few of these around my house and so you can't never have too many of those. The next thing that I found um, was quite shocking to me. I was actually really excited when I found them but uh, first thing was was this little wash tub. It, uh, it's really cute. It's just the old galvanized look. Um, I paid a dollar for this as well and I also found this, a little tiny olive basket which is really really cute. It's just the galvanized. It's got the rusty look on the top and the bottom there. Um, so yeah, I got those. I also picked up this glass jar. It uh, It's actually smaller than its appearing one here. Um, I just got a lot of glare off of the windows. But it's got a lot of sticky on it because it's, uh, they had tape on it. But it's just one of your glass jars that you can find at the Walmart for, I don't know, they're like, what, three or four dollars for this size because it's just little. It's just the height of my palm. But I got that for 50 cents. Next I got this. It's just two pieces of wood stuck together with holes in them and just looks like a birdie house. Um, this is going to go outside on my front porch or on my deck. I'm not really sure which one, but yeah, I've got that. I also got these two different size Christmas trees. They're actually a lot shorter. One's a lot shorter than the other, but I plan to redo these um, and paint them up differently and of course clean them up and everything and stuff but they're just regular stripped wood and they're really cute and I can put a lot of detail in the painting with these so I thought these were cute I also picked this up I thought it was cute I know it's a like a valentine type of decor but I think I'm going to stick this in our bedroom and I think I'm going to drill a hole in this and make it look like an official like a tag and uh, hang it from a shelf not really sure but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do with that and I got this I thought this was cute I just redone my bathroom and I'm going to be giving a tour of that once I uh, kind of a start to finish type of thing. So some of this stuff will probably go into my bathroom. Um, in the book stuff, I just got one of these. This is uh, it's just a place for, it's got a whole bunch of the plastic sleeves where you can put um, credit cards or just any kind of thing. It also just kind of comes out of this thing. And I just wanted it for the inserts. Um, this was only 50 cents, so I can cut this down and punch holes in it and put it in my planner. I 
I read a lot of the Debbie Cromber books and I found this one and it's one that I don't have. So yeah, I found that. These next three books, my husband picked these up, but they're just kind of like, this one is a kitchen table book and it just has all kinds of different remedies and cures with things that you can use from the kitchen and your household. Um, he likes to kind of look at these books and so do I. They're pretty interesting on some of them. Also we got this one that talks about um, vinegar and garlic and baking soda and different things that you can solve at home. And this one here, of course this one was kind of wrote in, which I wish it wasn't. I'm going to try to get that off of there. Can't see it, but it says, good book. Um, but this one would be pretty just to kind of have sitting somewhere or whatever, but it kind of runs in the same thing of that too. Just home remedies and stuff for cures. I also found this. It's just a little shelf sitter. Um, it has these two little drawers that you can put knickknacks, doodads in or whatever. Um, but I did get this and I thought it was cute and it fits right in with my decor. And I think I paid a dollar for this. The stuff was really cheap this weekend. but And I found this. They have used it as a shelf, but it was once just kind of like a crate. I'm not sure if I'll keep it as a shelf or what, but they've just deco-podged paper onto it, which I like to paper. I might use this in my craft room for storage and stuff, but I got that, and I believe this was a dollar fifty. Wasn't very much. The other thing that I did get, this is too big to get put in here, but um, I also got one of these. It's a 12 by 12. Oh, this was I'm sorry, this is a 14 by 14 and 5 eighths by 14 and a half. Um, just one of the three Sterilite bin containers. I can use these all the time in my craft room. So I bought this and it was only $3. And I also got this here again is the Sterilite brand and it's the big drawers. Um, and I got two of these, and they were $2. So with that, that is everything that I got this weekend from the yard sales. So if you have any questions about anything, you can leave them in the comments below. I love talking with you guys. Um, but do be looking for a bathroom tour. Not so much a master bedroom tour, but... A main bath tour because um, I just got it finished and I'm just getting it decorated and the last final things I may record it just before the last final things get done in it but um, yeah be looking for that and I will see you on my next video bye guys